Look at that. Another broke off hook. We lost another giant. what we got going on I forgot my mic at home so hopefully it don't sound like crap but it is what it is I'm not going home for it all right so what I'm gonna try to do is film two different videos if it doesn't work out and we catch a few fish on either side of that video I'll link them together and just make one big one so here's what we're gonna do this is my case for limb lines Limb lines is the art of hanging a line from a tree with a hook and bait trying to catch fish. You can leave them for 24 hours, but you have to check them within that 24 hour period. As you can see, the river's up, it's trashy, but it's backed up real slow. It's not, it's not moving at all. I'm going to be out here all night. I got these Okeechobee fats. They're called Okeechobee fats, lure cases, whatever what have you, you get them from Walmart. They're awesome. You guys, you need to get some of these if you, you're like me and unorganized because this somewhat organizes stuff. So what I'm gonna do, all I've got for bait for the limb lines is cut carp. I got two big carp and I cut them up, chunked them up and I've got enough for limb lines, I've got enough fish tonight. And my little live bait tank down here, I do have some crawdads because every fish I've caught this winter they had crawdads in their belly. They, they just plumbed stuff full of crawdads, so I figured I'd try it. Why not? Me and my son, youngest son, me and Taterbug, we went down and uh, we got four or five decent sized ones. I caught about two million small ones. So it is what it is. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started. I'm going to pick out spots for limb lines. And uh, in Indiana, we're allowed to set 10. They have to be marked with either your name and address or your customer ID number, which on Indiana at your license is at the top. So that's what we're gonna do. We're burning daylight. So I really don't like sitting close to this ramp. There's a couple good, good spots here. The good thing about the water being up is it's in the trees and it's not hard to find somewhere to set. But I know where I've set before and where I've had the most luck. So I'll probably start upwards a little bit and see if we can't get 10 out real quick. Stick with me, we'll be right back. Small boat can be a pain, but it's worth it. All right, pre-tied leaders. Guys, I get this string at uh, Walmart. I put a swivel on it. This is a 9 aught Cat Max hook. I don't use them that often, honestly, because a buddy of mine bought them for me like five years ago at Christmas, and he passed away, but I've not wanted to use them. So, what better way to honor him than use the gift he gave me, huh? Just tie that end onto the swivel, uh, or onto the swivel. I've got a uh, four ounce cannonball sinker, plenty enough, just enough to hold it down. That's that. I've also got a tag with my customer ID number. That, and it'll help me find it. We'll put that on there. We're legal. Put a piece of bait on it, and we're fishing. It's that simple, guys. And I keep all of that 
and this one little pouch, and I can set 10 lines with that. Heck yeah. Get rid of the old poop factory there. Just like that, friends, we're fishing. Throw it over the side and move on to the next one. Shablam. We're fishing. Ew, that's nasty. My remote ain't working for my GoPro for some reason. I can still charge my camera, so we're good. So tonight, I'll end up probably putting it on my chesty. All right, let's go to the next one. We ain't got a whole lot of time. We need more time. Let go. We're off to the next one. About wound it up in my prop. Boy, it's trashy in here. It wasn't like this two days ago. That's good. Very good. You guys, we'll check these in the morning when we come back down. There's one right here that my boys and I have set on before, and we're gonna set one here. Oh, by the way, I left my trolling motor remote at home, and I thought I was organized today. Not that much, evidently. Normally, guys, there's no way I could get to these limbs at all. I'm gonna go forward, and then I'm gonna back up to it. I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. This line that I'm using, this white line, guys, is the old trot line that you guys watched me set here back in January or February, whenever it was. I repurposed it because I bought me a new one. Repurposed. And there's probably quicker ways of doing this, but oh well, it works. Limb lining, that's how my daddy taught me to do it. Get us a tag, whether it's on the limb or the line, as long as it's a tag, you guys. As long as it's a tag. Here, we'll throw it up here, it don't matter. And why I do this, guys, no, this isn't tournament catfishing or anything like that. It's survival, and it's surviving the 812. This is to put poo. Get off. Ah, oh, I got the poo on me. Nasty. Ugh. It's gelatinous.
scales are huge. There it is. One more legal one. Legal beagle we're fishing. Y'all help me remember where I put these. We're doing 10 of them. There it is. We'll know in the morning we come down through here and lines are bobbing. Not supposed to start raining until 7.30 or 8. Hopefully I don't get wet. I need a video bad. Been three weeks. All right, off to the next one. We're gonna put them all on one side. Go away. Here, we're gonna hang you right there for a second. I'm not setting them at any certain depth, anything like that, guys. I'm just, I'm not, there's no reason. There's fish in the water and the majority of them I seen were kind of suspended. As long as you got a good springy limb, it'll hold a fairly good sized catfish, that's a fact. Ask me how I know. And it's such a sight to see, guys. Come back early in the morning. Limbs just a bouncing, splashing. It's awesome. Very awesome. Go ahead and mark it. See, I'm going to fish all night, guys. Going to fish all night. These are some hooks my buddy bought me. I think they're Cat Max, 9 aught Cat Max uh, circle hooks. And I just, for some reason, I decided to use them today. I'm not worried about losing them because you generally don't lose them doing this. Unless somebody steals them. See, Indiana, you got to tag all your stuff. That way people can see it and come steal it before you get to it. Because I've had that happen before, too. It's a fact. Some people just aren't honest, but some people are. You know, it is what it is. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of good chunk -alicious stuff we can find. All them shears work good. And there is line three. All right, guys. We're moving on to the next one. I'm not going to make y'all... Y'all ain't going to have to sit and watch me set all these. I ain't going to do that for you. Fish are jumping over. About pulled my hip muscle out of whack. We're in 26 foot of water right here. Oh. That almost hurt. Getting old, friends. Getting old. Huh. Ah, it's a good thing. We just ran out of line. I'm just gonna drop the whole thing way down in there. It is what it is. Trim this nasty end off. We're in the middle of nowhere, guys. And I like it that way. By myself, I like it that way. 
There's 10 limb lines. It's a potential of 10 fish. Like I say, if, you know, between the two trips, if I do good, guys, you know, that's enough meat to last my family for a while, you know, up into winter time, or probably all the way through winter time, should I say that. So I do this, you know, once or twice a year, and then other than that, I just fish and throw everything back. But I do go after that table fare. Old fish was full of eggs. I guess that's eggs. Oh, that tasted just delicious. Got some left over. Oh no, I tangled it all up. What a doofus. I've had a couple overnight trips that you guys haven't seen because I either didn't catch fish or I caught like one. It was it just I'm not gonna make a video out of that garbage. Oh, guess we better put our El Tago on here. There it is. Let's go do some regular fishing. Y'all see that in another video. Hopefully. I'm hoping. The way my luck's been here lately, we'll see. I love y'all. And we will see you when we come back to check these. You slept in a little bit. We're getting ready to go check limb lines and beat this rain that's coming in. Good morning. Well, number one's a bust. <sighs> Guys, I had one bite last night. I fished all night and I had one run. And I do believe it was a wiper, in my opinion. It was either a wiper or a gar. As fast as it ran, I want to say it was a go or a wiper. I had him hooked up and then I got tangled up and he popped off. If we could pull one fish out of this, that'd be great. Cool. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. 
Oh my God. We lost an absolute giant in that broken nine odd hook. That broke a nine odd hook. That was an absolute giant. Got a little weight, guys. Ooh, that's a good fish. Big blue, big blue. We got a big one. We're gonna get the net for this dude because he ain't no slouch. He ain't no slouch. That's 40 pound fish, guys. Big blue. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big blue. <laughs> that right there, guys, is the caliber of fish that um, bent that hook off. That's a stud. We ain't gonna kill it, though. We ain't gonna kill it. Shoot, yeah. Well, that one fish right there makes it all worth it. Now we can make us a video. So, I know what I've done. The fish ain't all the way up top. They're in this stretch of river right here. Skips are busting everywhere. Skips are busting everywhere. All right, let's get this dude out. And we'll put him on the front screen and leave it at that. Begging. Begging. Oh, begging. He's growing. He's definitely growing. He's wore out. Oh, God. We're not going to kill this fish, guys. Put my gloves on. We're not going to kill this fish. Not going to happen. I won't do it. Lord. Ah, ah, that's a powerful fish. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. Get this right there. So big one. That's easy 50 pound fish. Now I got a mess. Show you how we fix that. Take much. All right, I'm gonna get us out of the mess here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and deal with him. Let's get him up here. He's been on the line for a little bit. Get him up here, I'm gonna show y'all a picture. He, well, he didn't make a mess, I made a mess. Oh, there it is, friends. Nice blue. Biggest blue it's ever been in this boat. That's good fish. I ain't gonna hold him out long, guys. Here's what I do with these big fish. I don't kill them. I'm not going to. Ow. Ow. He won't gloves on. That hurts. Ow. I go. Come on, buddy. Come on. I know. I know. There you go. All right, guys. Here he goes. <sighs> Finally, I show y'all catfish. Jeez, oh, Pete. 
So, you seen the size of that fish, right? You seen the hook that was straightened out and broken. Whatever was on that was not a slouch. That's a fact. I don't know how big that fish was. He was well over 50, I can tell you that. Look at that. Another broke off hook. We lost another giant. You know, my buddy, he bought these for me four or five years ago before he passed away. He bought them for me for a Christmas present. Nine aught cat max. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. The hooks that are still good, I'm gonna cut them up the lines, I'm gonna put them back in the pack and I'm gonna set them up. I'll never use them again. Look at that. I ain't keeping no fish. This dude been on there a minute. He's kind of beat up, and he is not cutting any slack whatsoever. Whatsoever. So all the fish are down in this lower section. How good's he hooked? He's hooked good enough. Get in there. Oh. Wrapped himself up in that line last night and about beat himself to death. I'm not gonna keep it, I'm not keeping any fish today. Oh, we got water on us. Is that better? There we go. <coughs> so yeah. Go ahead and just go ahead and trim this off right here. Oh, but don't fall over. Guys, I'm not eating them big fish. This this one, yeah, I'd probably eat him. But fact of the matter is, a lot of them big fish, he is just skin. You know what I think? I think otters got after this fish last night. We have a bad problem with otters here. I mean, they are just absolutely ridiculous. They're a dime a dozen here. If you're gonna coon trap, you'll catch an otter. Everybody wants to catch an otter. Well, anywhere in Southern Indiana, you hit up a small stream, there's a lot of otters. This dude's beat up. Otters got after him. That dude's fought all night. There's another one. That's 15 pound fish, 20 pound fish, something like that. There we go. Back and rest, buddy. Get away from them otters. I hate these otters, guys. They are just awful around here. This one little section right here is where they was at. I should have just stayed here last night. I don't know, this one's wrapped up around that line. If this one's broke off too. Oh, nope, it's got one on it, guys. Wrapped up too. Golly, Ned's. He's crazy. He's crazy. He ain't been on there that long. All right, guys. I said all the way up river. All night long. Got one run. I know where I messed up, but that's part of it. Oh, he's hooked all kinds of weird. Where? That's what happens, you bring them in here green. Woo! That's good eating fish, are. But we ain't eating none. Hey, do you mind? Do you mind? That's a hook in my ankle.
Guys, you got to be careful doing stuff like this because you got loose hooks and stuff flying around, they'll get you. He didn't get water on you, did he? There it is, guys. Successful night, but we had two hooks bent and broken. We'll never know. We'll never know. But still successful. Depends on how you look at it. We're going to cut him loose, guys. One more time. There he is. About, a, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 pound fish. Away he went. Let's go home. Oh, goodness. Guys, a lot of people want to do this. This is just a cheap old John boat that I fixed up. It sat at my dad's place for years, you know, after I growed up, joined the military. You know, did all my overseas stuff. And uh, then my dad gave it to me about 10 years ago. One day for my birthday. I said, shoot, yeah, dad, I'll take it, you know. And I fished out of it for a couple of years and I got to go, I got the whole catfishing bug. Went to fish tournaments, went and bought the shad wagon, you know, by all the fancy poles, all the bull crap. Well, I'm home now. I'm home, this, this is home to me, right here. I beat some of the best fishermen that's out there. I've met some of the best guys. I've also met some pretty squirrely people. This is where this is where I need to be. This is what I need to be doing. You know, tournaments and blast offs and ripping and running to whatever fishing spot you're going to is cool. My little boys are grown up now. And it's kind of surreal. Uh, my youngest is 16 and I remember having them in this boat here they wasn't knee high to a grasshopper fighting fish like that on limb lines. And I screwed up. I got hooked on the tournaments and fishing with buddies and they kind of growed up. I guess you could say, I feel like they grew up without me, you know? Um, but hopefully I did this enough with them that they'll, maybe one day they'll take this boat and show their boys show their kids, their daughters, whoever, you know. I guess the point I'm getting at, take your kids hunting, take them fishing, take them trapping, take them to the arcade if that's what they want, but spend time with them. Because there's no do-overs on this. You, we, don't, we don't get to, this life, we don't get to do it again. I mean, guys, look at this beauty. You know, one day I won't be able to do this anymore. I won't be able to do this anymore. One day it'll be over for me, you know, and it'll be up to the younger generation. And that's what I care about. That's, that's what I care about. And I'm not saying my boys won't ever go fishing with me again. My oldest boy's busy living his life. My middle boy just, he graduates in a few days and he's going to be busy living his life and my youngest boy he's got two years left and well i'm sure him and i'll be out here you'll see him trapping with me a little tater bug he'll always be my little tater bug don't lay down taking nap because they grow up on you they do i'm gonna go home now guys uh this kind of makes me emotional this 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 everybody's always asked me Where'd I catch a catfishing bug? Right here, 
on this water right here. And I had it when I was younger, but I went overseas. And I come home and this wasn't catfish water. This was healing water. And it's taken me a long time, long time. So guys, hey, if you want it, you gotta go get it. Nobody's gonna give it to you. It's been a successful trip. Couple snafus with the hooks. We lost a couple giants, guys. I'm telling you, we lost some giants two that we know of it is what it is until the next one if you want it all this you got to go get it nobody's going to give it to you there's going to be not so perfect days there's going to be great days but if you want it go get it go get it it's waiting for you i love y'all we'll see you on the next one i'm gonna go home and edit some video guys have a ball I think today's Monday, so if today's Monday, you'll see this tomorrow at 6.30. How's that sound? Or 6 o'clock. 6 to 6.30. I love y'all. We'll see you. I'm tired.